Married people of Reddit, what is the most mortifying thing you did that your spouse overlooked while you were dating? Story 1. First time. This woman has me come and meet her folks. They order pizza, and when it shows up, I go, Oh, I got it! And I drop the meffing pizza as soon as I close the door, man. Everyone is quiet for what seems like an hour. And then at the same time, her dad, older and younger brothers, all start laughing slash crying. I thought her dad was going to have a heart attack. To this day, the effing guy says he's never laughed harder and he's like 90. 30 plus years and these people have their kids still making fun of me, man. Story 2. We weren't even dating yet. We had hung out a few times in a group and he was driving me back to my sister's place in his sweet new car. And I threw up everywhere. I tried to open the window first. To throw up out the window. It did not work. I threw up on the window. And the door. And myself. And his soft gray leather seats. When I tell you that my beloved husband of 20 years is a neat freak and a perfectionist, that is an understatement. Knowing him now, I can't believe he ever spoke to me again. I can't believe he cleaned all of that up and still proposed six months later. Story 3. My wife is a snoozer. She hits the snooze button an easy dozen times before moving. This one more the alarm go off, she smacks, it doesn't turn off. She hits it again, still not shutting off. She really just starts smacking the shit out of the alarm, still going off. She sit up to realize two things. It's the trash truck alarm, and she'd been slapping my head the whole time. Did wake me. Story 4. Ripped a noxious, silent fart in the grocery store as we were checking out. His face went white and started grabbing the grocery bags pretty fast. He goes, we gotta get out of here. Someone farted and it smells really bad. He took off walking really fast, and I started laughing so hard I couldn't keep up. He didn't turn around until the parking lot, saw me laughing, says, that was you. Together 17 years, married almost 10 years. Story 5. When he introduced me to his parents, I was nervous enough already. When we got into his parents' car to go to dinner, I was hit with a very unpleasant smell. I thought maybe one of his parents had an accident or something. Like maybe they had on some Depends or just didn't shower for a week. No one said anything in the car. Total awkward silence. When we finally get to our destination, I step out of the car and my foot slips. I had unknowingly stepped in fresh dog shit right before getting in the car, and during the ride had managed to grind it into the carpet. My man cleaned that shit up for me, and it took some years, some alcohol, and singing karaoke before I felt like his mom finally accepted me. Story 6. I am incredibly dumb. We were in the getting to know each other stage. He reveals he's colorblind. Cool. I'm curious. And ask him how he knows when the traffic light changes color. I also asked him how he knew my eyes are blue after he complimented them. No one has purple eyes? I'm so lucky he married me. ETA, till that other parts of the U.S. and other countries have their traffic lights oriented differently. We're in the PNW, U.S., and have only seen the standard, three vertical, red on top style. I once had to help him with electrical wiring in our travel trailer. A lot of thoughts and prayers for that experience. The cool thing, though, is his color blindness is kind of like a superpower in his industry. He's a cabinet builder, now shop foreman, and did a lot of custom cabinet work. People dropping hundreds of thousands on cabinets and doors, etc. But he's the best at color matching since he sees the colors a bit differently. Super cool. Story 7. I was in my first year of work out of law school. I was working around the clock, was super sleep deprived, and had basically no social life. He took me to a party with a bunch of his Burning Man artist friends. They were going around the circle talking about their current projects, sculptures, textile art, all kinds of really cool things. I was feeling out of place and kind of lame, and also was just so sleep-deprived and tired that my social compass was off. When it came my turn to share, I blurted out, All I make is money! I was trying to be self-deprecating and funny, but you could have heard a pin drop the way that joke went over. I still cringe 15 years later. Story 8. Not me but my loving husband. In the very early days of dating, we were waiting out a rainstorm on a walk in a Mexican grocer. Walking around and looking at all the imported items, he picked up a bottle of men's cologne aftershave. I leaned in to give it a smell as he squeezed the sides of the plastic bottle to waft the smell for me. But he squeezed too hard, and it shot straight up my nose and down my throat. It was so startling and so awful, and all I could smell for hours was cheap aftershave. Still married the doofus. Story 9. We were already just married, probably about a month. We'd rented a house that had a one-lane driveway. We were always switching our vehicles to not block each other. One afternoon, I moved my car up and went to park his truck behind it. The truck was a standard and L was not an expert. 
Long story short, I hit the back of the car with the truck. I quickly looked at the window and sure enough he was looking out and had seen what happened. I stayed sitting in the truck for a while and finally decided to face the music. All he said is we should try to not beat our vehicles against each other and dropped it. We'll celebrate 43 years this year. Story 10, well, I almost ruined his proposal. He has an acquaintance who I think is the biggest douche canoe on the planet, and he was dating a colleague of mine whom I also have zero respect. Well, they got engaged in Hawaii the day before we got to Hawaii. I was due for a marriage proposal at any time. When I saw their social media posts, I said, don't do something cheesy, like propose in Hawaii. He had the ring already purchased and my perfect day snorkel trip with my favorite animal already booked. Fortunately, he knows I am my worst enemy and carried out his original plan and it was an absolute dream day. I'll never live this one down. Story 11. We went to an amusement and one of the rides suddenly made me very nauseous. I tried to hold it in but it didn't work and I ended up vomiting. The unfortunate part was that it was one of those giant spinning swings and he was directly behind me and got a good dose of it all over him. He cleaned himself up and took me home while having to keep pulling over to let me out to continue being sick. We've been married 13 years and I don't go on amusement park rides anymore. Story 12. This is not what I did, but what my BF, later husband, did. One evening around 8 or 9, he said that we were supposed to have gone to his parents' house for dinner. Two of his aunts and an uncle were visiting from out of state. I had never met his parents before, and the first time I did, we were three hours late. His wonderful mom fixed us plates for dinner, and the two aunts and the uncle became my favorites after that. My husband and I were married for 46 and a half years until he passed away two years ago. Story 13. We were in college and he lived close by, so we ended up at his house a lot. Locally, the doors aren't totally sealed off, meaning there is space at the top. I had to poop but didn't let it on, just pretended I was going for a quick bathroom run. I always wipe and look until the toilet paper is clean. He decides to jokingly surprise me and jumps above the opening at the most inopportune moment when I was looking at the shit on the toilet paper. I know he saw. He knows I know he saw. We both never acknowledged it happened. Story 14. I was born a clueless geek and probably will always be one. On our third date, back in 1965, we went to the drive-in. When you bought a pizza in those days, it was just in a skimpy cardboard box and somehow I held it sideways and it slid completely down the leg of my pink stretch pants and all over my sandals onto the floor. He married me anyway. Don't say he wasn't warned. Story 15. Not married yet, but I was a bit of a hoarder. My boyfriend is a very clean and organized person. I'd already started cleaning and becoming a more organized person myself, but I had a large house, and much of it was still a nightmare. He was willing to give me a chance in hopes that I really was changing, and eventually saw that I was. I am so glad he was willing to do that. Honestly, I wouldn't have blamed him for running from that mess. Story 16. I tripped and fell into his mouth for our first kiss. He thought I was being overzealous when I came flying in. No, my heel caught on some uneven asphalt with my lips all puckered and head already turned up as I crash-landed against his chest. He pulled back, basically prying me off of him and said with a knowing smirk, Let's try that again. And then he leaned in for the most breathtaking kiss I've ever had. I was so embarrassed because I'm not that big of a klutz that I absolutely blocked this from my memory. Maybe a year later, he brought it up laughing. Remember our first kiss? I said that I did and talked about a totally different later kiss. He was quick to refresh my memory and it came flooding back that I moaned with great distress. To this day, he finds it funny that I blocked our first kiss and he only half believes me that I tripped. I did, I swear. Story 17. Well, turns out I'm a sleep farter. Multiple blasts through the night of fairly significant volume and smell. My wife and I spent the night together after every single one of our dates for the first six months. Every single one. The entire time she never let on that I was fumigating the room. She didn't mention it until we had crossed into fart confidence with each other. And yes, I am still a sleep farter. Story 18. Had a few beers not realizing they were 10% ABV each. This was completely my own poor judgment and not paying attention threw up twice in the toilet and once in the bathtub in his apartment, managed to throw up in my own hair all three times. He cleaned it up three times, washed my hair all three times, combed it out. The third time he found my anti-frizz spray and French braided it. We got married four months ago and have been together 5.5 years. He's the best. Story 19. My husband absolutely mortified himself while asking me out. We were chatting while I was driving and I was lamenting the ways of the fuckboy and how I was growing tired of them. 
We were on the way to his mom's house. As we pulled onto her street, he suddenly squeaked out, Will you go out with me? In this super prepubescent style of voice, like it cracked and everything. I couldn't help but laugh and asked him if he wanted to try again. After two more attempts, he finally went into demon mode and just kind of growled the question out. I said yes to dating him right there in his mom's driveway, and then immediately greeted her with, Hey mom! Lamau. We passed one year married this past Memorial Day. The most mortifying thing I did was sleep talk. I've had a habit of it all my life, and we were maybe a week into dating. He couldn't sleep because my place was new to him, and he was very, very nervous being so near to me. I apparently slept talked and told him I love you that night. When he finally told me about it months later, after we finally said I love you while awake and coherent to each other, I couldn't stop hiding and blushing. Story 20. We had been dating long enough that marriage had been discussed, but not engaged yet. I have a thing about symmetry that he was at least somewhat aware of at the time, but maybe he didn't know the extent of my quirkiness. We were talking about rings one night, and I mentioned the symmetry thing and how I hated the wrap-type wedding rings that go around a solitaire engagement ring because the ones I had seen on friends that were engaged at that time didn't look visually balanced to me. He started laughing but wouldn't elaborate on why that was funny. A month or so later, he proposed. I said yes. And then he pulled the rap-style wedding ring out of his pocket and said, This is why I was laughing when you said you hated rap rings. I had already bought it, but we can go pick out a different one. I felt horrible. And in that moment, I also knew I would have loved that rap ring, knowing he picked it out for me. But he took me to the store and we got a different wedding band. And I've worn it for nearly 25 years now. He will never let me forget that I hate rap rings, though. Man, I wish I'd learned to listen more and talk less earlier in life. Story 21 our very first date. My husband, not me. We went to a Mexican restaurant I had been to and he had not. I told him not to get the shrimp burrito al diablo. He did not listen. I tried to explain that it was spicy even for people who eat lots of spicy food. He said, I can handle it. His eyes were watering. I was laughing at him. He was laughing at himself saying, you were right. Then he said, well, you know what they say, what goes down hot comes out hot. I was in shock that he would say something like that out loud on a first date, and then I was laughing so hard I couldn't breathe. I was crying and snorting and cackling. I had never heard that before, and I was just imagining him on the toilet with many regrets. Ha 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 ha, we still laugh about it now. Story 22 We had been dating for only a couple weeks. Had not slept together at this point. I had just moved back home after getting out of the military and was staying with my parents downstairs. We were preparing to watch a movie we had rented. Blockbuster was a thing, and hang out for a bit. My much younger brother was still living at home. I had just returned from upstairs to get drinks and popcorn, had my hands full. Just as I'm about five or six feet in front of my GF, now wife of 27 years, who was sitting on the couch, my brother decided to pants me. He not only grabbed my shorts, but underwear too. Intentional or not, everything came down. I could only stand there, hands full of popcorn and drinks. I very calmly set down what was in my hands, pulled up my shorts. As I turned around, the look of fear and surprise on my brother's face was almost comical. He ran faster than he had ever moved before, possibly scared or scarred for his life. My GF just blushed and thought it was funny. When I finally sat down, she said, Well, you've shown me yours. Guess I'm going to have to show you mine now. Knew she was a keeper then. Story 23. First dinner with my parents. We sit down to eat. I grab the bottle of salad dressing and shake it, not knowing the cap wasn't really on. Dressing goes everywhere and on everyone, including all over the ceiling. I'm coated. I'd spent hours getting ready for the evening. My mother laughed and laughed. I started to cry. My father and now husband just sat stone-cold, blank-faced. Story 24. We weren't even dating yet, but I was helping her move. We were friends before we started dating. Anyway, I was moving the kitchen stuff and I dropped the box and broke all of her nice ceramic plates. I felt bad so I gave her $200 to replace them, but some of them were like sentimental and not replaceable. I felt so bad. About a year later we started dating and she picked this Greek restaurant. And apparently at Greek restaurants they celebrate by smashing plates on the floor, so that was a cute choice by her. She did insist on smashing my plate for me, which I thought was fair. Story 25 we got pregnant with twins before we got married. I didn't even move in with him until I was five months along. I can't remember if I was three or four months pregnant when he took me to a fairly nice restaurant. I ordered some iced tea and some kind of pasta dish. I took the first drink of my tea and felt the all-too-familiar nausea that came right before I was going to throw up. 
I threw up a lot when I was pregnant. I made it to the bathroom just in time. This restaurant had one women's bathroom, no stall, just a bathroom. As I was bending over puking, I lost all control of my bladder. I stood there for so long not having any idea what to do. I finally cracked open the door and asked the woman who was waiting on the bathroom to get my boyfriend. The only thing I said to him was that I needed a change of pants. That poor man had to drive to my apartment and dig through my dirty clothes, of course nothing I had was clean, and drive back so I could change. I couldn't leave the bathroom this whole time, so all the women had to use the men's. Meanwhile, I'm trying to sop up a puddle of pee off the floor with toilet paper. We get back to my place and we're sitting on the couch. I am completely mortified, beyond mortified. Shockingly, after a few minutes, he proposed. I could not believe he wanted to marry me after the night we had just had. I immediately said yes. We got married four days before our boys were born. Sixteen years later, we're still married. Story 26. Mine is small but funny. In college, I worked three jobs and was often pretty tired and would get home late. One night, after a late shift, I was starving and stopped at McDonald's before heading home. I text my girlfriend, now wife, that I was on my way to her place, and she replied that she'd made dinner for me. Not wanting to tell her, I quickly scarfed down two cheeseburgers in the parking lot and threw away the evidence. I got to her place and was too full to eat her dinner and blamed it on exhaustion, which she accepted. Until the next day, she found the McDonald's receipt in my car from 20 minutes before I arrived. To this day, I do not know why I lied to her about it. The look on her face when she read the receipt time stamp back to me was priceless, though. Lee Isle.